Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. My name is Sports Monkey. For today, I would like to build a modded cul-de-sac. And I would also like to build a vanilla cul-de-sac. So what I'm gonna do first is I will create the modded cul-de-sac. And then second, I will create the vanilla cul-de-sac and I will leave a chapter mark below for whoever wants to create the vanilla cul-de-sac. So the first thing I wanna get into is what is a cul-de-sac? So if you look on the screen in front of you, this is exactly what a cul-de-sac is. So it is mainly used in a neighborhood and you can see that basically it is a dead end where there is a teardrop or a half circle or I guess since it is called a cul-de-sac, there is a sack where you can turn around. So we're gonna build that in our city. So like I mentioned, first we are going to build the modded cul-de-sac and you are gonna need the move it mod for this, the node controller mod and the multi-network tool mod. So let's get started with how to create a called modded cul-de-sac. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab a small road. We're just gonna go all the way up to here. There is no dimension, it doesn't really matter. So now that we have that road stretched out, we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna create, we're gonna go to our unified tool belt. The unified tool belt has the network multi tool right here. And so we're gonna click on that and we're gonna hit the plus button, which is gonna add a node. So we're gonna get as close as possible. So see how it is green, click right there. So we added another node to this street. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the node controller mod and we're gonna click the very end. And you're gonna see over here, I'm gonna swing this down here. You're gonna see that here's the node controller options that we have. We're gonna stretch this to about 200%. There we go. So now that we have that in place. Okay guys, so now that we have the cul-de-sac in place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just check the zoning. So you can see that we don't have zoning on top of the cul-de-sac. So this is why it is a modded cul-de-sac because vanilla wise, you cannot put houses there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a fast forward rendering of the modded cul-de-sac and I'm just gonna show you what you can do for, um, you know, with the move it mod and you could just see what you could do with the different houses in City Skylines. So give me one second. So guys, if you have any questions on how to do this, please let me know in the comment section below. But basically I just used the move it mod and essentially I did place down some of the housing and stuff like that. So I just placed it since there wasn't residential, I just used the move it tool. So essentially I could do exactly what I did kind of over here. What I did was I used the move it tool and just grabbed the house and then, well, that's not the right house, but I grabbed the house and I just moved it to the top of the cul-de-sac. So guys, that is our modded cul-de-sac. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Okay guys, so if you're in this part of the video right now, you want to see a vanilla cul-de-sac. So this is very vanilla. It's not perfect, but it's the best you can do if you're playing City Skylines on a PS4 or an Xbox. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a single one-way road and we're just going to go up about 560, which that's I don't know, it doesn't matter how long it has to be. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna grab a medium sized road and what we're gonna do is we are gonna bring it up the shortest distance possible forward that we can create it. So that's about three units on a PC. So whatever the shortest distance is and this is your vanilla cul-de-sac. Again, I know it doesn't look great but this is the best you can do when playing on a console or you, you're playing vanilla. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. But again, the, the vanilla version is very simple, but thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.